I love this thing for this feature only. Well, not only for this feature, for this feature as well, and for a lot of other features. So let's talk about my new YouTube light. First things first, I just want to say thank you iFootage for sending this light over for me to review and I just want to underline the fact that they are not paying me to say good things about the light or the accessories that they did send to me. So this is going to be my honest opinion. And now that we got that out of the way, let me show you what this light can do. This is the Anglerfish SL160DN, a 60 watt daylight LED light and even though the name may be a bit confusing, that's the only confusing thing about this light. First, it comes in a well padded carrying case that makes traveling with it convenient and it also looks cool because has a nice color scheme. And I love a nice color scheme. Inside the case we have the AC adapter with this nice wire so you can hang it on the light stand, the reflector for those times when you want to maximize the power of the light, a light adapter screw, a 5 meter power cable and the light itself. The build quality is not bad at all considering the size and the price of the light. The price of the light is $199 at the moment that I'm recording this video so I don't know if it's going to be a bit lower in the future or if it's going to be more than $199 but this is the price right now. Another thing that I like about this light is the finish of it and the fact that it's pretty weightless, sort of speak. I also received an adapter so I can mount accessories to a full bones mount because the light has a mini bones mount and a quick release dome softbox but we're gonna talk about those a bit later. Now let's talk about the main actor of the day. I love this light. Besides all the bells and whistles I love the fact that I can control this light with my phone. My last light had a remote control as well but that light was staying only at 1% and I couldn't turn it on or off. So just because of this, this light is already better. If you have other iFootage lights like the SL1 series or the PL1 series, you can control all of them with your phone through the app that's really responsive and lets you do a bunch of stuff up to 60 meters in range or distance, whatever you want to call it. For example, you can select a specific light and save it under a preset with a specific set of settings so when you're on set you don't need to stress about other things. Another thing that I like about this light is the fact that the blue in this light is not as harsh as in other lights. For example, my old light had like a bluish harsh tint on skin tones and that thing was driving me crazy. The SL160DN has a CRI of 97 so that's really good for photography or videography with lifelike skin tones. By default, most of the lights today come with a 10 effects built in so if you ever need a thunder or a paparazzi scenario for your videos, you can totally do that with this light. Let's talk about form factor. I love the form factor and I love the fact that even at 100% being this small this light is not noisy at all. So for scenarios where you need like crisp audio like talking heads like this one over here or like interviews this light is perfect. So that's another plus right there. The light has some intelligent cooling modes like quiet, ultra quiet and auto and has a fan lifespan of 70,000 hours at 40 degrees celsius. On the back of the light we can see the display, two knobs for dimming the light and setting stuff up. They do have some sort of hard stops when you rotate them. The on and off button and two slots for power. A DC in slot 15 to 20 volts and a power delivery 100 watt slot that makes this light a portable light with the right accessories. iFootage do sell a V-mount handheld battery grip, I think that's how it's called. So you can use like a V-mount battery and you can plug in that battery in your light so you're gonna have a portable light but I didn't get that but I think I have something that might work So I'm going to use this clamp with this V-mount slot over here that I'm going to clamp on the light leg and not the adapter leg. If that doesn't make sense I'm going to show you in a second. And then I'm going to put this light over here so I have like a small footprint. And from this point on I have two options for powering the light. It's either going to be like a USB-A to USB-C cable or it's going to be a VTAP to DC in cable. So this should power the light so I'm going to have like a portable light. Now let me show you if that works.
So now let's talk about the adapter and the softbox dome. On the adapter you have a quick release that helps you when you're mounting the light fast and also to take it off just as fast. You also have a special slot if you ever want to use an umbrella on it instead of the softbox dome. On the light you have a quick release as well so you can mount the softbox fast. If you want to form the dome you have to pull the pins up until you're gonna hear a click and then you're gonna repeat that move for all of them. Inside the dome you have two diffusion layers, you can use either both of them or just one of them. And finally outside you add the grid so your light is not gonna spill. Here we have a light power test with the light placed at 2 meters in front of me with two diffusion layers and the grid as well. And you're going to see the differences in 20% increments. And if this was your next question, yes, the light has a stepless adjustment from 0 to 100%. So let's recap. For 199 you get a pretty powerful and portable light with a reflector, you get a carrying case that's well padded and you get a light stand adapter screw. You're also getting a responsive app with a lot of features, you're getting a nice range connection in those 60 meters and you're getting the ecosystem to buy other lights from iFootage and use them all in one place. And last but not least, you're getting a reliable piece of gear so you can start creating cool content. I think that's a fair exchange. That's it for today, if you like this video and you got good information out of it, I don't want to be that guy but just consider liking and subscribing and consider sharing because that's helping a lot. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Stefan over and out.